Hi there! In today's video I'm going to show you how to turn your old denim into a beautiful picnic blanket. This video was made by Snuggable Me. You will need a sewing machine, a ruler, clothes chalk, sewing pins, rotary cutter or scissors, a cutting mat and loads and loads of denim. The first thing you need to do is to cut across all the hems. This is a very lengthy and tiring process, however, if you have a basic sewing machine like I do, this is necessary because your sewing machine will not be able to sew through various layers of denim. You can use any colored denim you have, be it black, blue, red, green. You can also use denim that has holes, simply by patching them up by placing a piece of denim at the back and sewing it up with a coloured thread. However, I do not suggest you use stretchy denim or denim with different thicknesses. For this blanket I have decided to do three small rectangles in the centre, followed by larger rectangles all the way round. For this particular design I have done about 70 rectangles, however you can always increase or decrease the number of rectangles depending on how large you would like your blankets to be. I have decided to number my rectangles in order to show you how the patches will be sewn together. The smaller rectangles measure 17 by 13 cm, whilst the larger rectangles measure 17 by 33 cm. To cut the measurements, you can either decide to use a cloth chalk or else a faster method is to use a template. Whilst cutting your denim, if you have a sharp rotary cutter, you can go through a couple of layers at once. However, I must admit that my rotary cutter was quite blunt and I had to go over and over the same patch several times. Please do keep in mind that this can be a dangerous tool and make sure you keep your fingers away from the blade. Now, once all the pots have been cut, the fun part begins. This machine was purchased at the local supermarket for I believe around 89 euros. It has quite a number of decorative stitches, however I must admit that I generally only use the zigzag or the straight line stitch. 
But if you would like to be a little creative, why not do a diagonal line with one of these designs? As I mentioned earlier, it will not allow you to sew through more than a couple of layers of denim. However, I still think it was well worth the money because I have been able to do several projects with the sewing machine. Before starting a new denim project, I always suggest to you change your sewing needle because when sewing with denim, it does become quite blonde very quickly. Moreover, make sure that every now and then you do clean up your sewing machine. I have decided to sew the denim badges right sides together. This will make sure that all the fraying is hidden at the back of the blanket. However, if you would like a more casual look, go ahead and sew the wrong sides together. Once you throw the picnic blanket into the washing machine, it will come out all frayed. I always like to do a couple of back stitches at the beginning and at the end in order to avoid the stitches from coming undone. This will keep the picnic blanket in pristine condition. This is how my blanket is looking once I start sewing the denim strips together. At the center there are the three small rectangles and all around are the larger ones. I have also included pockets and torn denim since they create a visual interest. The hardest thing to do is that you need to sew the denim at a right angle. In order to do this, I suggest that you place the right sides together of the denim and sew the longer side first, leaving a seam allowance of about half a centimeter. You also need to leave another half a centimeter on the left side, where this eventually will be joined to the other piece of denim. Always pin this down because it will give you a clear indication of how the corner will be.
And this is my finished picnic blanket. I will show you how to do the backing in a separate video. Please like and subscribe to Snuggable Me. Thank you for watching. Slim Usaha.